In this video, I'll be taking your submitted photos and turn them into anything I feel like. Whether it's subtle, dramatic, adorable, or badass, I'll do my best to turn your images into more than just images. Welcome to editing your photos. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while, but here we are with the 10th episode of editing your photos. As you can see, my hair is brown again for the very reason of it becoming green. Like first it became blue and then kind of greenish, which of course doesn't really work for a green screen. So I had to, you know, make it brown again in order for me to make this video. Anyways, let's jump straight into the first photo for today. That being sent by Santo. Hi Benny, this was for a cosplay, but my house doesn't really look like Harry Potter style. So can you make that possible? Thank you for your photo. I guess I'll see what I can do. So let's drop this into Photoshop and get straight into it. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, first we are going to mask this person out using the pen tool. What a surprise. Honestly, I can't believe I'm still saying this or including this at all in the videos because <sighs> point is we just have to go all around the edge and then we have a beautiful cutout of this subject there you go beautiful the first thing i personally think about when i think of harry potter is very dark gray storm skies so i feel like in this one that's an absolute must there you go and then a second one that i'm going to fade out a little bit right here and then for the background i've got this beautiful scottish landscape i'm gonna put that sort of uh right there i guess then we stitch that together beautifully like so and then we have a pretty good start for a background as you can see then if i'm thinking of harry potter i do feel like we need that blue slash green sort of tone which is very very cinematic in a way and maybe towards the edges it's a bit darker and also these people right here we really don't need those so let's just uh well there you go and of course we want this subject to look very nice and greenish as well and i also want to add some subtle shadows right here and then we're gonna do the same thing but with highlights of course in the sky above i'm gonna add some lightning so this has to be pretty uh, bright besides this is gonna make it look like it's outside which is also something we definitely need just like that very very nice even all the way down to the hands we need to add some of these highlights and then i think we're pretty much all set then i want to add just a tad of background haze right here making it a bit brighter and lighter in the background when up top it's still pretty dark to really make this look very cool i have a few more death eaters that i'm gonna put in the background to kind of make like a sort of squad of death eaters which i think would look very very cool and intimidating and then we're gonna need another one that is gonna be sort of uh right there maybe a little bit further in the background and with a grass brush we're gonna put him in here first however they of course need to have that same blue tone so i'm just copying the one from our original character maybe a bit more green and less blue and guess what we do need those same highlights on these as well so let's go ahead and paint those again just like that that is looking a lot better already and last but not least the guy on the right and then i think we have uh most of the stuff on the character's face finished then we do need a bit of a shadow below this guy like that ladies and gentlemen lightning there's gonna be a very big one right above them let's put that on screen this right here is where it sort of begins where it comes out of the clouds and carefully i'm gonna make this area a tad brighter very nice there you go and then the same thing i'm gonna do here because i just decided this is where the second thunderstorm thing lightning strike bloody hell is going to be then what we want to do is go and add Add some glow around this very very bright uh, lightning strike I'm gonna make it a bit random some areas are gonna be a bit brighter than others something like that I think is pretty intense for the second strike I have this one which I'm gonna put in the background kind of like that I think and of course some more glow so here we go that almost rhymes this looks freaking epic dude Wow! Then I thought maybe it would be cool if we put this crowd of people that's from the movies into the background somewhere. First, I'm gonna mask this out very quickly. Lots of tiny highlights, very boring, but I guess it's necessary, so I shall do what I must. I just wanna add a few more small Death Eaters that are a bit further away than the rest. And another one right there. And then I have to kind of merge these in there, and then I think we're pretty much done. 
are we? A few inches later. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more mist right here in the back. And then I think we should be pretty much there. Maybe some subtle particles all over the place here and there. And then I guess uh, then, then we're actually done. Like I'm then it's okay. One last thing. I know this is not a thing in Harry Potter, but wouldn't it be cool if the eyes are green? That's pretty cool. It doesn't make any sense, but it's cool. So let's just go with it. Then all we need is a final camera raw filter. And then I'd say we're pretty much done. So let's add some cool effects, some clarity some nice color grading something like this i think is pretty cool and i think like this it is pretty nice back to the studio very very cool on to the next one which was sent by alero hi benny i really love your editing skills it is just awesome i took this picture of my friend i really like to see what you can do with that well i suppose there is only one way to find out so let's get to it Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a surprise, but first we have to mask this guy out. So let's just go ahead and start right here and go all around the edge. Fun. And there you go. That is beautiful. I did keep the, the bowl kind of thing because we're going to need that for reference. Look, here we have Venus, which is going to be super lit for whatever reason. And then let's also make a nice uh, black background first. And this is going to be hella bright. There you go. And I feel like here, this guy should be faded out just a little bit with the sort of uh, haze effect so to speak just kind of like that nice and subtle maybe this one can even be a bit bigger like that then i have a bunch of these planets which i'm just kind of gonna put all over the place the sizes are not gonna be accurate whatsoever so you kind of just have to ignore that now let's see say this would be the sun sort of even though it's venus but who cares the earth is gonna be relatively small then and we've got mars actually mars is supposed to be small Smaller than Earth, but I feel like it would be kind of nice if we put it pretty big here. And Neptune is going to be real big. There you go. Now, first, let me put some nice glow on this to make it uh, very warm. There you go. And some glow for Neptune as well. And that blue light, of course, make sure we are going to need some highlights. And that's what we like. Just on his hair right here. Just a little bit. Of course, most of all, his shirt is going to need some blue light. And I feel like that highlight could definitely be a bit brighter just like that perfect wow at this point it's kind of just adding some glows to the planets and then oh, oh my god <laughs> and then adding some highlights to this guy accordingly pretty basic stuff let's be real of course we also need to add some shadows to some of these planets because of course the main light source is this so we're gonna have to uh well add some shadows like i said bum bum ba -da -ba -dum, ba -dum, bum 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 then there's this big boy that needs a bunch of shadows as well. There you go. Then I'm curious what happens if we put some sort of clouds or something in the sky. It has to be very subtle though. It can't be too much. Just a little bit back here. As you can see, that gives just a bit more detail to the background, I guess. Do I like that? I don't know. I'm not sure about all this. So let's go and add some asteroids. There you go. These look pretty cool. Gonna put them right here or something. Of course, we can also add some stars, which I would say is never a bad idea if you're making something space related. Just right there and then put that on screen. Ooh, that is kind of nice actually then i also have some of these separate asteroids which i think would be nice to add as well now every single asteroid of course has to be sort of accurate lighting wise so that is simply going to be one big chore that's what it is then i also want a tiny bit of that edge glow around these asteroids because i don't at this point i don't even know why i feel like this is kind of a disaster anyway so and some random haze for whatever reason <laughs> maybe we can do something cool with this image whatever the heck it is and then apply some of it back here maybe at this point guys i don't even know what i made so i guess we'll just add a camera raw filter and see what happens then <laughs> the usual stuff i am gonna add some contrast because i feel like it's not really deep enough well then i think that right there is pretty much it. Not my best work, but I guess it's not bad looking. So uh, back to the studio. Big thanks again for sending that photo. Then on to the next one, which is the last one, that being the speed art segment. Hi, I'm Abigail from the Philippines. Please edit this in a magical fantasy way. For reference, the character I'm cosplaying is Shir Shiranui, Shiranui from the game, bloody hell, Anmyoji. 
Anmyoji. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, which I probably did. Uh, this photo looks freaking beautiful, so let's just go ahead and drop this into Photoshop. <laughs> And there you have it. These are the three photos I made today. And don't forget, if you want to enter for the next episode, make sure to send your photo to editingyourphotos at bennyproductions.net. And also, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And then I guess that is it for today. If you like this video, make very, very sure to leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope I'll see you in my next video.